Good day. Today we will be talking about Web 2.0 text. I'm excited. You should be too. Let's go ahead. Let's open our friend GIMP and we're going to start out by making a new layer. Okay, in our instructions it says here, open a new layer, 420 by 300. Okay, let's make that layer. Excuse me, let's make that canvas. Excuse me. Okay, step one. Let's go ahead then and we're going to set our text down. Okay, so let's go ahead then. Let's go to our text tool. Uh, set our size to, eh, I'm going to say in the 40s. So I'm going to do 45. Go ahead then, change your font if you'd like. You know what I'm going to set mine to. Garamond bold all day. Color doesn't matter. I'm going to be changing it up. Let's put our text down. Okay. If it's not in this middle, go ahead, use your move tool, sort of straighten her up. Okay, go to your layer menu. Okay, and then what you're going to do is you're going to rename your layer. So click once and click a second time. Sort of, uh, there you go. Actually, you just do a double click on the text. We're going to call that main text. All right. From there, we're gonna, this is new. We're going to lock the alpha channel. To do that, you're going to click on this. Make sure that you're Make sure that your main text layer, there she is. Make sure, make sure your main text layer is selected. And then just click on this button here, lock alpha channel. Let's go ahead and do that. All right. Now what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a gradient. Okay. Now make a gradient. Don't freak out, man. It's pretty simple. What we're going to do is we're going to have to add a new tab to our toolbox. Oh, no. Yes. Okay. Add a new on add tab then you go down here gradients okay so you just click on that button add tab gradients what we're going to do now is we're going to be making a gradient okay so let's go ahead here let's click on new gradient and we're up here where it says our, like the title of it let's go ahead here let's call it web 2.0 awesome okay now Here's what we're going to be doing. We need to do a control click, okay? Control click and go to uh, where it says here left endpoint color, okay? Left endpoint color. What we're going to do is we're going to be picking a specific color. So right here where it says HTML notation. What we're going to be doing is instead of like going through and trying to find the perfect thing, you see as I'm changing the color the HTML not notation is changing. We're going to specify a specific color. The specific color we're going to be doing is a sort of a bluish color. So we're going to do 6291C0. 6291C0. Then what we do is we click on OK. What we're going to do then, I'm, for this one, I'm just going to copy and paste them. On our right triangle, it's going to be CCE. 6 F9. Let's go ahead, go to right endpoints color, HTML notation. I'm just going to paste that in. There we go. Okay, good to go almost. What we're going to do is see how this triangle, we're going to try to get it right, mm, try to adjust it so it's like right above that instant update thing right there. Okay, yeah, that's looking good. Okay, now we just made a custom gradient. Awesome. So we're going to save this, save that gradient we just made by clicking on that, the save button. Okay. And we can close that then. All right. So let's pick our gradient tool now. All right. And what we're going to do is we're going to color our text in now with that gradient. So we're going to start our click in the middle and let's see, right almost above it. And then we're going to go here. We're not going to take it all the way down. Okay, we're not going to take it all the ones. Try it right here. Looking pretty good. That looks pretty nice. Okay. Our next step, and this was new for me, we're going to grow our selection. Okay, because right now, sort of our edges are a little blurry. So we're going to go out here. We're going to go to. Um, uh, we're going to go ahead here, and we're going to go to layer. 
transparency, alpha to selection, and then watch this, select, grow, select, grow. Okay, and we're going to set this to, we're going to grow our selection by three pixels. So right here, where it's at, we don't want to grow it by one, don't want to grow it by two, we want to grow it by three. So let's click on OK. All right, so now our selection just got a little bigger. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead, we're going to add a border. Do that. Let's go ahead here, layer menu. Let's add a new layer. We're going to call it border. All right, border. Let's go ahead to our paint bucket. And we're going to go ahead, and the, the instructions suggest a certain color. We're going we're gonna to do that. Okay. So it suggests we use 293A47. That's a dark blue. So again, let's copy that. Let's go to our color picker. And we can just paste that right in. And now, see, now that dark blue is selected. Awesome. So let's go ahead here, and we're going to go to... CR, and this is supposed to happen, don't worry. We're going to fill it in, fill, click on where our ants are going. That's supposed to happen, don't worry. What we'll do is go to our layers menu, and we're going to move our border layer down one. So let's go ahead and do that. Nice. Okay. Now, this is cool. I really, really liked how uh, this, this works. We're going to be making... Uh, a reflection. Now to do that we're going to be duplicating our border layer and our main text layer and then smushing them together and then flipping it. Watch it. Okay, so we're going to make a copy. Okay, so make sure your border layer is selected. Make a copy of that. Okay, so now we got border copy. Then make a copy of your main text layer. And now we got a copy of that. And what we're going to do is we're going to move it so we've got I'm going to go to our copy, our border copy. We're going to move that up. So now we've got one, two, three, four, five layers. One layer one should be main text one. That's our copy. Layer two should be border copy. What we're going to do is make sure that top layer is selected there. The main text layer. Go ahead then. Go to layer, merge down. Okay, layer merge down. That combines two layers. Okay, so what we're going to do then? Okay, so now we've got a we've got uh, a nice situation where if we're going to flip this layer, we're going to flip that layer. We're going to actually we're going to recall it now. Reflection. So let's call that layer that top layer reflection. Then what we're going to do? Let's go to select none. Let's go to our flip tool. Okay, select your flip tool. And go to the, its options. If you double click on it, and where it says horizontal, we want to flip it that way. We're going to flip it down. So select vertical. Now let's go ahead. Now watch this. This is cool. Blop, there we go. Now obviously, oh, that's a great reflection, Father Flip. No, dude, we're going to move it. Let's go ahead to our move tool. Let's go to move it, and let's just make it so it looks nice. Oh, that's looking good right there. I like that a lot. So just put like a little space between your two. That's cool. That looks really cool. Okay, excellent. Now, what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be uh, select, let's go to our layers menu. We've got to make it so it's, you know, I've got to improve it a little bit. This is cool, but we can do better. So we're going to call this now, we're going to go to our reflection layer, okay? And then watch this. We're going to go to layer. Mask, add layer mask. And we're going to select it, not white, full opacity. We're going to go to black, full transparency. Watch this. It's going to disappear in a second here, but watch out. So click on add then. That's okay. It's supposed to happen. All right. Let's go to our gradient tool, or our blend tool. Okay. Cool. All right. Then what we're going to be doing is, this is neat. This is kind of cool how this works. Let's go ahead to where it says gradient here. And we're going to set it to uh, uh, FG to BG, RGB. <laughs> that means foreground to background. Okay? Just watch a second here. So what you'll do is select that. Okay? Then what you're going to do is set it so that your colors are black and white. So you can just click on this button here. Okay? 
then what we're going to do is we're going to start our click. Mm, let's see, a little bit down from our stuff. So let's try this. Let's go out here. Let's try right. Maybe here. Let's see how I can. Nice. 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 You see how that came out? All right. Cool. So almost done. Almost done. Now we got to get add the glassy effect. All right. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead now. Uh, you could actually finish right here. This is this is cool enough. But we want to make it. We'll make it a little cooler. So let's go ahead to uh, um, the ellipse selection. That's basically the circle tool to you and me. So it's going to be the one to the left of your lasso. Let's go to laps. There we go. Then what we're going to do is we're going to make we're going to turn on subtract mode. So let's go out here where it says subtract from the current selection. If you don't have that, just double click on your ellipse tool. It's the tool options for it. Let's go to subtract. Okay. Then what we're going to be doing is we're going to go to our main text layer. Okay, our buddy main text. Good stuff. And we're going to go ahead here to, uh, uh, let's see here. I want to do an alpha to selection. So layer, transparency, alpha to selection. Okay, that's going to select the whole shebang now. So what we're going to do is this. We are going to put the ellipse here. So let's go ahead. Let's remember we've got our ellipse tool selected. We've got sub, it's a subtract mode. Okay, so let's go ahead. And let's try to draw this. This is I, I had issues doing this before, but let's try this again. Whoop, that was not good. Let's try that again. Okay, all right. So we're just dragging, and mm, you know that's pretty good right there. Actually, no, it's not. I want to do that again. And you're just gonna try to get like it. There we go. That's nice. There we go. Okay, looking good. Okay, there we are. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to create a new layer. We're going to call it glassy effect. Okay, so that's going to make it so that the top layer, this layer we're going to be putting in, is, is going to be uh, sort of white. It's going to make it the text a little bit different. So let's go ahead. Let's go to our new layer. Let's call it glassy effect. Let's make a new layer called glassy effect. Still got that stuff selected. Let's go to our paint bucket, our good buddy. Okay, select white. As your color, you could do that if you've got black and white selected. Just click on that, and I'll flip them. Okay. And then what we're gonna do is let's fill that in. Oh no, it's white now. It's supposed to happen like that. Don't worry. Then what we do is right here where it says our opacity of that glassy effect layer. Uh, layer let's dial that down to 30. Except I'm in the bucket fill mode, so that's wrong. You gotta go to your layer. <laughs> go to your layer. There we go. Select, make sure your glassy effect one, and set your opacity down to 30, about, okay? Okay, about 30. That's, you know, it's, we've followed the instructions completely, so let's put that exactly to 30. Do a select none. That's your final product, okay? So you see here we've got the glassy effect, we've got a reflection that sort of ends like that. That is pretty nice. I wish you the best of luck with this project. Have a great time. Father Flem out.